to make a new cabin for the watchmaker stin and here I'm showing you the sizes of the pieces that we are going to use. The wood is 2 mm thick. I'm using the socket piece to make a line here at the bottom of these side pieces so that I know where to glue the shelf and the socket. And before I glue it together, I am going to make a line where I want my shelf in the middle. Remember to make the line on both side pieces. I'm going to use some wood glue for the gluing part and I'm using my glue jig to keep it together while drying. If you want to know how I made the glue jig, I will leave a link in the info box below and a link in the iCard. I glue the bottom shelf in place, uh, and that is above the line that I made. And then I glue the socket piece in so it sits like I want it to. I also glue in the top piece of the furniture. This will help the furniture to keep its shape while drying. Leave it to dry before you continue. I'm using a popsicle stick to make some holders for the shelf, so I'm just going to mark how long they are and then I am cutting this in half also, so I'm just marking that here. And here I actually made a mistake, I make these as long as the shelf itself, but they are kind of in the way for my decorative molding, so you need to make them a bit shorter than I did. After I cut them out, I sanded them a bit, and now I'm just gluing them in place and leaving them to dry. I measured the back of my shelf, and I made this little piece that fits. As you can see, it's not as long as the cabin, but that is fine, it fits perfect for my use but you can make it a little longer so it fits perfect if you want to. I'm gluing it together and using some masking tape to keep it together while drying. I glued in the shelf and now we are going to the decoration molding. I connected all three pieces together with a piece of masking tape and I'm actually drawing my design on this masking tape. When I'm happy with my design, I am going to use my mini lathe with this sandpaper thingy on there and then I am just sanding down the decoration molding so it have the shape that I want it to be. I took my time with this and worked slowly and a little more precise. Then I remove the masking tape from the three pieces so that I can glue them in place one by one. I glue the first one in place, that is the top one right here, and that went pretty well. Then the one under the shelf, and that was where I ran into some problem, as these icicle sticks were a bit too long, so I had to cut that off on each side of this decoration mold that went under this shelf, before I could glue it into place. After it all was dried, I sanded the whole box a lot to make it really nice and neat. And I glued the last piece of decoration mold on the top of this little furniture as you see me do right here. I'm not going to paint this, but you could do that if you wanted to. That's all there is for the little furniture. I think it's time to take a look into the watchmaker's tin. And here it is from the outside. It is really working, just not this pull-up thing that's not uh, the clock anymore. 
but you can swing the pendulum just like if it was working right. Let's open it and see how far I got in this box. Here you can see all the details that we have been working on the last few weeks and I kind of like the way it is looking right now but I need some more clocks in there it's still really empty and I also see that my grandfather clock stopped working so I will have to take a check on that but here it is in the way it is looking right now with the new furniture in there If you have any ideas for new clocks for this little uh, room, then please tell me in the info box below. That is all there is for this video today. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.